Today's the day. It is finally time to kick off a fresh new season of the Fan Showdown. And with the new season comes some new, uh, some changes to the testing methodology that I think um, are really going to shake things up a bit. This video is brought to you by Deepcool and their new LT720 liquid cooler. The Deepcool LT720 is a 360 millimeter high performance AIO with three precision tuned FK120 PWM fans. These three included FK120 fans come in all black and have an RPM range from 500 to 2250. The water pump is covered with an infinity mirror designed enclosure that is compatible with most motherboard RGB software. Deepcool's LT720's heart is built on their fourth generation high performance water pump design that maximizes cooling performance through improved micro channels, a powerful three phase drive motor, and a thick, solid copper base plate. This AIO comes with the required hardware to fit most Intel and AMD motherboards, so if your next build requires maximum cooling performance or you just want something that looks great, pick up a Deepcool LT720 all-in-one liquid cooler at the link in the description below. Last season, we focused strictly on airflow. The fan that ranked the highest was simply the fan that could push the most air through a wind tunnel, and that was it. However, this season, based on your feedback, we're gonna be moving to a more static pressure focused testing methodology. We're still gonna use the wind tunnel and the anemometer and measure airflow to keep things as apples to apple as possible, but each fan is now going to have to push that air through a 120 millimeter AIO radiator. Doing this, we can then extrapolate which fan would have the best cooling performance based on simply which fan is able to move the most air through that radiator. At least that's the idea. I guess we'll find out when we get to testing the cheater. If you remember the cheater, it ran the table in season four. Um, it went undefeated. There were some close calls, but nonetheless, it was number one. However, I'm not sure if its design is um, conducive to cooling a radiator. I don't know if it's gonna be in number one after even today, I don't know. Are you sure about that? But before we uh, check how well the cheater did on this new setup, let's look at the four new fans. This is the Warhead and it was created by Lux. Now Lux says he doesn't have any aerodynamic experience, but he did know that he wanted his fan to have a, a pointy part. So mission accomplished. Lux also said the inspiration for his fan was a, a nuclear Warhead, which the timing's not great on. So we're gonna move on before YouTube shuts us down. This is the waterfall and it was created by Luke. Luke said while watching the fan showdown, he noticed that a lot of fans push a lot of air out to the sides rather than pushing it all straight back. To combat this, his design uses relatively flat blades that aggressively curve towards the tip. He's hoping that doing this will allow more air to be focused towards the rear and limit the amount thrown out to the sides. It's kind of interesting. Now this next one might have, it's one of those fans that might have done really well in season four, but just like the cheater, not too sure how it's gonna do in season five. This is the Circumventor. And right off the bat, I have to say that your fan design looks a little familiar. Sus. But I'll let it slide because it looks like most of the design work went into the second part of this design. This is the aft flow director. The idea here is the aft flow director has a converging nozzle that's gonna hopefully increase flow speed. In addition to that, there's vents all around the outside here that will hopefully let some extra air into that airflow, increasing the overall output of the fan. Now you can see why I think that this would have been, might have actually done pretty good in season four, but maybe not so much in season five. That being said, if you released a fan or sent me a fan that's focused on being as good as possible in season four, like maximizing airflow. You can go ahead and uh, update your design to make it more static pressure focused and resubmit it. There's no, no rules against it. There's no rules! Let's just start back on. There's one rule! Now last up, we have a pretty interesting design, at least to me. This is the Hollow Man and it was created by Hang. Now, looking at it, you might be like, oh, I don't see it. it looks pretty, uh, pretty standard to me. But the unique thing about this fan is it has hollow blades. I think this might be the first fan, at least that I can remember, that has hollow blades on, uh, on the fan showdown. Now these hollow blades were designed with a purpose and it wasn't to just like reduce weight. The idea here is that these hollow blades are going to have air pushed through them by this little centrifugal fan in the tip there. That air is gonna move through those blades and then exit out the trailing edge hopefully increasing, you know, maybe some static pressure there, maybe some uh, extra airflow, maybe just looks cool. I don't know. We're gonna definitely be able to see if it works though in the smoke test, so uh, keep an eye out. But before we check it out, 
Let's have a listen. The hollow man came in around 48.5 dBA. The waterfall came in around 50.9 dBA. The circumventor came in around 49 dBA. And the warhead came in around 49.5 dBA. They're actually all pretty some similar when it comes to sound output, but now we get to see if Heng's uh, design here actually works. I don't know about you, but from the looks of it, that little tiny fan in the center there, it's doing exactly what Hang hoped it would. As for the flow testing, before we get to the cheater and see how it does on this new setup, let's check out these four new ones. The Hollow Man came in around 435 feet per minute of airflow. The Waterfall came in around 423 feet per minute of airflow. The Circumventor came in around 397 feet per minute of airflow. And the Warhead came in around 454 feet per minute of airflow. Placing the Warhead in first place, the Hollow Man in second, the Waterfall in third, and the Circumventor, as expected, in fourth. As for the Cheater, the final boss from season four, the Cheater came in at 477 feet per minute of airflow. So still just ahead of all the other ones. And if you're curious, the A12X25 on the same setup came in around 495 feet per minute of airflow. So for now, the uh, A12X25 is the one to beat. Also, it's safe to say that designs like this, like the Cheater that were dominant in season four are probably gonna fade away in season five. So interesting to see. Again, if you submitted a fan that you think won't be very good in static pressure, feel free to update it and send a new design in. So thank you for watching. I hope you're looking forward to the new season of the Fan Showdown. If you want to help out the channel or help support the channel, the best thing you can do is just get subscribed, stick around for upcoming videos. If you're interested in getting in on the action, submitting your own design to the Fan Showdown, head down to uh, the description. I'll have a bunch of links with the different references and aids you can use to help you understand how to design a fan, where to go to submit your designs, reference models and stuff you can use. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.